morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and if you're new here I welcome you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I am going to continue my way working through all of this new makeup that I have stored in all of these bins. Just a random amount of makeup. I did a video on that showing you what I was going to use up before I bought any more new makeup. I just want to declutter all of this stuff off of my desk, use it up, test it out, use it, and get it all into my drawers. So let's get started. I'm going to first start with this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. I absolutely love this stuff. I've had this for quite a while. It's very good. I love the scent of this. And I'm just going to take some and I'm going to just start by tapping this under my eye. I like to have a little bit extra hydration under my eyes for setting my concealer. It just helps with the creasing. This is one of those products that I absolutely love and forgot that I even had it. It doesn't sound like I love it very much, but I actually do. I just stumbled across it again. So I've got that all tapped in underneath my eyes and I'm going to go ahead and start with concealer. I don't have a new concealer, so I reached for my Yensa concealer. This is the Super Serum Silk Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light One. And I'm just going to start by tapping that in right here. I'm not going to use very much. Less is more with concealer, and if I need more, I can always go ahead and add more. I'm going to take an Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. This is a very, very nice concealer. It has the same consistency as the foundation they make that I absolutely love. I'm going to add a little bit more under that eye to balance them out nicely. I am just about out of the sample size of this foundation, and I want to get myself the full-size bottle, but I'm trying to resist until I get through all of this makeup first. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some to my troubled areas. I'm going to get that brown spot right through here on my cheekbones. As you know, I like to do this because my blush and bronzers sit down a lot better if I have concealer underneath of it. Just covers up all of that hyperpigmentation that I have. I can tell that I've been out in the sun way too much painting this house this summer. I have got lots of sunspots and I do wear sunscreen every day, but not something that completely does the trick. I think I'm actually going to put a little bit more right here just because I have some extra sunspots there. The sun is so bad for your skin. Even though we need that vitamin D, it just, for me, it just brings out all the discolorations that I get and just emphasizes them more. The foundation I'm going to use today is by NYX. This is called the Bear With Me Blur. Mine is in the shade Light Ivory. This might be a little bit light for me. They call this a blurring tint foundation. So we're going to try this. This is going to be always interesting. So that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's not runny at all. It's kind of thick. So I prefer a thinner foundation with a fuller coverage. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to use my BK Beauty 101 brush and I'm just going to tap into that lightly, very lightly. I've got quite a bit left on my hand and we're just going to blend this all out and see how far we get. Now it's blending out really nice. And it does seem to be blurring the skin. So that's a good thing. It's doing what it says it's supposed to do. It doesn't look too matte-like. I prefer a satiny finish. Matte is my favorite, but my skin age is telling me don't be using that anymore because it cracks and it sets in the lines and all the things that makeup does when we get older. Just bring this down a little bit so I don't have a ring of makeup around my face. Now this is a little bit thick. It blends out really nice, but it's taking a little bit extra work. And I think that's just because the product is thicker than I'm used to. But the coverage is very, very nice. Add a little bit more right through here. And now I'm gonna take my dry foundation brush and I'm just gonna tap that all in, making sure that it all sits nicely and even and blurs that out a little bit more. Well, it definitely looks nice on the skin. I'm very impressed by it. I think the shade is just a little bit too light for this time of year, so probably this winter it'll work a little bit better, but we're going with it. So for bronzer and blush today, and maybe even a highlight, I'm going to use this face palette by Iconic London. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Really shiny, so I don't want to hold it up to the camera too much. And that's what those shades look like. So it looks like I have a row of bronzers right here. I've got two blushes right here and a highlighter. This is obviously way too dark for me. So I am going to tap into this shade right here. And they just call this the medium bronze. Very creamy. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take my BK Beauty 109 brush. 
tap into that lightly, tap it off on the back of my hand just so it doesn't get overdone. And just start applying this under the cheekbones. Now I think this is a little bit light, so hopefully it's buildable. I'm actually just not going to tap any off on the back of my hand and see how we get. Now it seems to be blending out very nice. I'm going to add a little bit more over here. And because this is a cream bronzer, I'm just stippling it on my face so I don't disrupt the foundation underneath. That's where we tend to get a little bit muddy. This is very lovely. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them under my jawline. Gives the appearance of a full facelift. Disguises the double chin. Slims it out a little bit. Bring it down here the length of my neck. And then I'm going to add some up here in my hairline. And then I'm actually going to take my big fluffy brush and just blend this in so I don't have quite the stripe there. My little baby hairs are falling out and starting to spiky up. It's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, moving on to blush. There are two blushes in this palette. This one is a more corally color, as this one is a more rosy color, and this is what they call that shade, is the rose blush. So this is the one I'm going to use today. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you. It's a very sheer rosy color. It's very beautiful. It looks like there's a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much where it's all sparkly. So I'm going to take another BK Beauty 109 brush and I'm going to dip into that. I'm not too afraid that it's going to be overly pigmented. So I'm just going to start applying that to the back of my cheeks. Ooh, that is really pretty. Really pretty rose color. And some over here. Now what I'm noticing right away about this bronzer, it has sat for a few minutes and it's just melting in with the skin. I really like products that do that. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous rose. Love it. And we're just going to leave it like that. Very pretty. Ooh. So again, this is the Face Palette by Iconic London. Should we try the highlighter? Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that. It's a rosy gold highlight. I'm just going to dot this on. I'm going to use my finger and tap it in. I'm not sure if you can see it well on camera, but it's a little bit shimmery there, a little bit highlighty. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And I'm going to leave that alone. Again, this is the Face Palette by Iconic London. I think I got this out of one of my beauty subscription boxes. I'm very impressed. I like it a lot. I have a palette here by ColourPop. They call this the Disney Designer Collection. This is beautiful. Absolutely love this. But first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with a MAC Paint Pot by Painterly. I'm just going to use my finger today. I am in a need of cleaning my brushes after I'm done here, which I should have done before, but I didn't because, you know, it's a chore. <laughs> and I always put off the chores until last. So this, I'm just priming my eyes, helps the eyeshadow sit down, covers up all those blue and red veins that I have in my eyelids. The uh, lighting is kind of weird in here today. The clouds are coming and going, and I'm like, what's going on? I can see it on my monitor. So I apologize if some of this is a little bit darker than others. I'm going to start with this shade right here in the crease. It's called Grumpy, obviously from the Seven Dwarfs. So it's got a little bit of dust up in it. And I'm just going to start putting this all over the lid and just over that natural crease. Oh, nice color. Nice, nice shade. I love the seven dwarfs. I actually have a tattoo on my ankle of Sleepy Dwarf because naps are my favorite thing. I used to take a nap every, every day for about an hour. Now I take naps just on Sundays because I don't sleep well anymore if I take a nap. That is part of the age thing. This is a very, very nice crease shade. All right, moving on to the actual crease. I'm going to use this shade right next door. It's called Triton. And I'm just going to pick that up on the end of my brush and go right into the actual crease just for a little bit more pop of color and giving my hoods a little bit of a lift. Makes my eyes appear to be a little bit bigger than they are. And that looks very nice as well. I'm going to go into this shade right here called Magic Carpet. And I'm going to start putting that in the outer corners. I'm going to use my Angie Hot and Flashy A504 brush and I'm going to dip into that. And I'm just going to start putting that in the outer corner. Get some shadowing going on there. This isn't as dark as I thought it was going to be, but I think it'll be just fine when we're done. And I normally use my Angie Hot and Flashy A502 brush here, but I can't find it. It's somewhere on my desk. Or I put it in the wrong jar. I just don't see it right now. So this is a smaller brush. It's definitely more, it's not as fluffy, so I can tell that it's picking up more pigment and concentrating it more than usual. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's a different thing. So I'm going to go ahead and take my big fluffy brush and just do some blending here. 
smoothing that out so the look is softer. I really like the other brush better and I found it. So when I go back in and do my touch up, I'm gonna use that brush instead. I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here. It's called Enchanted Rose. I'm gonna go ahead with my ring finger and I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on the center of my eye, my eyelid. Ooh, that's really pretty. That goes well with that blush. And I'm gonna blend that together as well. And then for the inner corner, I am gonna use this shade right here. It's a matte shade, it's called Chip. Another trick to opening up the eyes, making them look a little bit more wide open. These are very, very smooth shadows. I really like them. ColourPop can really make some nice shadows. And I'm just blending that out as well. So I snuck off camera and did my lashes and brows. Now I'm back, we're gonna finish this look, do a little touch up, run do my hair, and critique this makeup. So I'm gonna go back into this ColourPop Disney Designer Collection. I'm gonna take my BK Beauty Smudgy Brush and I'm gonna dip into that darkest shade that I used and I'm gonna go ahead and line my bottom lash line with that shade. I have to tell you, so where I'm at, it's been very, very warm, unseasonably warm for fall. But today and yesterday, it was like in the high in the 50s. It's very chilly, but I can tell that the humidity has left the air because my skin is starting to get winter dry again. <laughs> it's like, oh, here we go. I'll have to get out all of my winter skincare here shortly, and I'll do a video and show you what I use. But moisture, moisture, moisture is key. Okay, very pretty, very pretty shade. And now that I found my Angie Hot and Flashy A502 brush, I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna dip into that same dark shade, and I'm just going to bring this all up beyond the length of my lashes. Give it just a little bit more depth. This brush works so much better for this purpose. It's not that I don't like the other brush. This brush is just a little bit longer in the bristles and a little bit more fluffy, so I can deposit just the right amount of shadow where I need it without going way too much overboard. And I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just smooth all that out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Shimmer Shade brush by Angie Hot and Flashy. I'm gonna dip into that raspberry shade there and just add a little bit here on the lid right in the center. Blend that back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my BK Beauty 212 brush. I'm gonna dip into that first crease shade and just smooth out the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lash Discovery Mascara. Add some of that to the bottom lashes. All right, I'm gonna go do my hair and you know the drill. When I get back, we're just gonna touch this up, critique the makeup, and I'll let you get on with your day. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take what's left on my bronzer brush and just add a little bit more here under the cheekbones. And again, this was from the iconic London face palette, which I'm really enjoying. Very pretty. They're all cream products. They melt into the skin after time has elapsed a little bit. It's just very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that again. So, so nice. There's so much glare on it, I'm sorry. But these are what those look like. So pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush right to the backs of my cheeks. It's just very, very, very nice. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. Iconic London. And now we're gonna do lips. This is the PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze by House Labs. I got this in one of the Sephora gift sets. I am so looking forward to using this. I'm gonna start out with a Maybelline Lifter Liner in the shade Line Leader to begin with. I'm gonna swatch both of these for you. This is the lip liner. Again, this is by Maybelline Lifter Liner. You know, they're my favorite. So this is the shade Guava right next to that liner. Oh, I just think that's gonna be a really good combo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by lining my lips. Very nice nudie pink shade. And this is the Guava by House Labs. Now I haven't used this yet. Now the sponge applicator feels a little bit flimsy, to be honest. It's very pretty, very natural, very much luck. It feels, you can tell there's an oil in it, very pretty. I do wanna mention the NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I really like the way that it looks. Its coverage is very, very nice. Does seem to be creasing a little bit more than I like. Right down here, this is where my lines are, where my makeup tends to settle. So I'm just smoothing that out a little bit. But other than that, it's a very, very nice foundation. I will link all the products below for you. So if you are interested in them, you can go ahead and pick up what you're interested in. I hope you're well wherever you are, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!